I think we need to be seen as athletes, as golfers, regardless of us missing a leg, being of restricted height, or missing an arm. It's important that sport provides a platform to have that feeling of equality, to be able to play professionally despite having a disability. Juan Postigo Arce is one of the leading players on golf's G4D Tour, a series of events for golfers with disabilities supported by the DP World Tour. The Spaniard was born without much of his right leg, but his parents were keen for him not to be treated differently. Clearly there were challenges, but I think I was a happy kid. Compared to others my age, I don't think I missed out. My family got me involved in sport from a young age. Before golf, I went sailing and skiing, and I practiced many other sports. I was introduced to golf by my grandfather. It's a wonderful sport for anyone, and I was hooked from the start. Juan originally wore a prosthesis, but had difficulty walking. He was advised to have an operation to amputate more of his leg. I had surgery on my right leg and something went wrong. It was very painful for me to put weight onto my residual limb and I couldn't use it like I used to. That was a tough period. I was around 17 years old and I was seriously considering giving up golf. However, we worked on making my swing better than before using only one leg. I've strengthened my core, my glutes and leg so that I can repeat my swing frequently and generate the necessary club head speed to be able to compete. In May 2023, Juan was among the favorites in a field of 80 players at the G4D Open. It was one of nine events in an expanded schedule in the tour's second season, with some tournaments staged on the same course and in the same week as DP World Tour events. It gives us the best platform to promote ourselves, to play on the best courses and to be surrounded by the best players in the world. Without these competitions, it would be much more difficult for us to make a living from golf. Money, though, is not the incentive for one further ambition for Juan and his peers. Their sights are set on a major event in North America in 2028. It's the ultimate goal for any athlete to perform on that global stage. The Olympics, or the Paralympics in my case, is the ultimate. Unfortunately, golf is not yet recognized as a Paralympic sport, but I'm 90% sure that within three or four years, we will get that recognition and compete alongside the best Paralympic athletes in the world.